Begin by removing your upper center console. Please see the link at the end of this video for assistance with that project. With the console removed, you will have access to the two T20 torque screws, red arrows, securing the dash to the center console mount. Remove these two screws. Next, remove the bezel or trim surround around the ignition switch, red arrow. This simply unscrews counterclockwise. You should be able to do this with finger pressure, but sim trim pieces need a little help to get started with your trim removal tool. Moving to the far left side of the dash, remove your light switch module. Please follow the link at the end of this video for content on how to remove your light switch. With the switch removed, you have access to the three T20 torque screws, red arrows, securing the upper section. Remove these three screws. Working below the dash, you will need to remove the parking brake cable from the parking brake handle. Lower the handle and remove the cable until it can be slipped out through the small channel in the handle, yellow arrow. Remove the three T20 torque screws holding the lower panel to the dash, red arrow, along with the one T20 torque screw, yellow arrow, holding the dash. Note on our car, a previous owner had replaced some of the torque screws with household Phillips screws. Lower the panel, you will see a large electrical connection beside the parking brake. This is a data link. Once you lower the panel, the connection can be removed from the back by sliding the top, red arrows, of the housing to the right. Once the clip has been slid all the way to the right, you can pull the switch out of the connection, red arrow. The lower dash is now only held in by two clips, one on each side of the steering column red arrow, one shown. Pull the dash down to release these clips. Next, remove the parking brake cable, red arrow, from its holder and the dash is free to be removed from the car. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure the air duct in the lower panel is seated correctly when reinstalling. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.